That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it is a beautiful day here in Maryland. Let me adjust my microphone. I'm in a very, very good mood again. You know, springtime, it just kind of does that to you. So it's so easy um, just to forget that, like, you can have a winter funk, you know? Uh, and sometimes just, like, getting outside, taking the kids out in the sun, it just changes everything. Do it. Do more of it. I'm trying to do that, too. Anyhow, so I'm on Guitar Game. And I am looking for something fun. And I'm going down, and I see Eddie Hazel and Mike Hampton doing Maggot Brain. And I'm going to pick this. Oh, this is from Tyler Adams from West Virginia. Tyler, thanks for being a member on the website. Uh, I'm going to pick this because I just bought my tickets to see P-Funk at the Lyric uh, here in Baltimore uh, this summer. Let me know if anybody's trying to go. Uh, I would love to have a meetup. I've seen P-Funk probably more than any other band, uh, any other assemblance of musicians ever. The funk reigns supreme in my world, right? It uh, doesn't matter what genre you're playing. If, it's, if it ain't got that funk, it ain't got that thing, right? And so I don't know if I've ever reviewed Maggot Brain. Uh, I think I learned it many, many eons ago. But here we go. Tyler says, I've always loved Maggot Brain because of the way it just relaxes my soul. Hit the button. A luscious bitch, she is true, but it's not nice to fool Mother Nature. The proud mother of God, like all hoes, is jealous of her own shadow. Who is this young Vic Danny bitch who wished to be queen for a day, who would sacrifice the great grandsons and daughters of a jealous mother by sucking their brain until their ability to think was amputated? by pimping their instincts until they were fat, horny, and strung out. In her neurotic attempt to be queen of the universe, who's this bitch? We are just a biological speculation, sitting here vibrating, and we don't know what we're vibrating about. But when the animal instinct in me makes me want to defend me, it makes me want to live when it's time to die. Do y'all see my point? Yeah. Free your mind, your ass will follow. I believe in God, and I am concerned. But when the laws of man are not just equal and fair, then the laws of nature will come and do her thing. Mm -hmm. She does not think. She works by instinct. Survival is her thing. Do y'all see my point? Maggot brain is a state of mind. And then the condition and position of your ass. Funkadelic. Maggot brain. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. You know, what I love so much about George is that he's dead serious. He takes his sunglasses off. He goes, listen, I'm talking to you. There's something here. I just, I just, I adore <laughs> that imperfect soul. More than I could ever, more than I could ever say. Uh, here we go, magazine. gonna go back and get that hit but check this out your basic progression here e minor and you're just like a six eight one two three four five six right there's a ballad and you're just going across each chord so e minor d major C major. 
major. So you're always getting your triad, if you will, on your four, three, and two strings. So it's it's root always in the bass, and then bun dun 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 on whatever triad. So in the key of E minor, you got one flat seven, five flat six. So this is firmly within the key, if you will. E minor and G major are the same key, so it's 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 all the white notes, but you got an F sharp, right? Uh, let's watch the drop. Oh, I, one of these days, I'm going to get the Vidami out of the box. I know you sent it to me. Rum. funk with Dennis Chambers is one of the great joys in life. It's so epic. Um, okay, feel-wise, what to pay attention to is you got this one, two, three, four, five, six. But Dennis is doubling the subdivisions in the back. That's one of the beauties of uh, uh, feeling the funk, if you will, is even in slow stuff, you have to feel the little subdivisions underneath the current that's how you know how far to bend that's how you know what time it is that's how you know you're getting there that's how you know you landed it's how you know you're stuck right so you got that in the back in the back behind all that right so it's three for every one so one two three four five six right so it's like a super super triplet behind that and then when you and then when you just make those massive fills it just crushes your face okay now harmonically speaking we are e e minor all day big bends you know and you really got to wait to get that you're starting on d it's your flat 7 of e get all the way up into that e let the reverb take hold and that when you land back on this D, there's always a couple target notes. That, of course, is the root of the chord you're going to. Then the next chord is B minor, right? Like, it usually rocks over to the A into B, right? Bends up. That little, that little flat five in there, that little bluesy thing. Again, let the reverb take hold. And then when you get back, when you land on that E, what is that E? Again, root of your tonic, but third of your C major chord, which of course is where it lands in the progression. So those are your kind of targets, if you will. But really, really, it's about the vibe of the subdivisions underneath, letting the reverb fill the room, and just feeling that underneath the... Right? And everything in there, all those little pieces, that's that's how you make it sing. That's how you, that's how it breathes in between. That's how you can take your time. Right? In there, because you're feeling the like that's the vibration. And 
those little licks, like those little motifs that he keeps introducing and bringing back. I mean, when Eddie wrote this, I believe, I believe uh, George put him in the studio. I don't know what he was on, you know, but he was just like, imagine your mother dying, like the saddest things in the world, right? But what's so cool about that original recording is that there were so many repeating motifs, but each one had a little different fingerprint on it. It is such a guitar player's guitar song, you know? It is, it is, it is a, it is a, um, it is a joyous thing to play these slow, funky dirges with just big soaring bends and just letting the reverb take hold. It's, 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 you know what I'm saying. Okay, this sucks. You can't hear Eddie at all. But this is one of these rare opportunities, even though the mix is complete garbage here. Uh, I don't know how this wasn't fixed in post or whatever. Whatever happened. I mean, it just is an absolute shame. Um, but you get to hear the rest of the band. A lot of times, you know, under the lead, when you're in support of a searing lead guitar player, uh, you know, you're 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 being minimal, right? You're trying to be in support of it. But in a song like this, where there is no verse, there is no chorus, there is no bridge, it's just nine minutes of, of just, you know, tears from the sky, um, you have to stretch out and you have to do more. And you can listen to Michael Hampton, uh, and you can listen to the Dennis, you can listen to the bass, especially. Um, I don't know who's on bass on this one. Um, but they're stepping out all over the place. There's so many things to learn and listen to because like on guitar in particular, he's not just doing the, like he's still distorted. In one part, he's following the roots. and one part, he's doing all these, like doing all these little voice leading parts, matching with the bass. So all I'm saying is that when you get these just uh, crap mixes, there's little gold nuggets in there too to listen for. Like Dennis. He's coming up, I think. Nope. Dennis, man. Double bass, baby. To the moon. To 
the moon! Yes! On the one, wait for it. Stay fun. Look at that look. Okay, of course it ends with the last hit. What the, what the actual hell? Okay, so many things. Um, one, okay, uh, your key takeaways, very simple. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Dennis Chambers playing P-Funk is about the funkiest it gets. John Blackwell Jr. is right there in my book. Um, of course, you know, uh, you know, you got Clyde and a bunch of the, you know, the, the, the old school James Brown drummers, which like, you know, made it, made it the thing, but there's something about the heavy funk, the Marshall stack funk, not the clean, you know, chick -chick -chick funk, right? That just, it just, it just is filthier. It's nastier. It's dirtier. It's better. You know what I'm saying? It's better. Um, and, uh, Damn, this video, I might have to make this all about Dennis Chambers. I don't even know. But, uh, really sucks you couldn't hear Eddie Hazel. I'm a huge Eddie Hazel fan. This is one of all of our favorite grooves to, to, to play over on guitar. Again, E minor, D major, B minor, C major. So you got a 1, flat 7, 5, flat 6. Totally in key. Um, George was known, one of his rare... He has many, many talents, but one of his real talents that he's known for is getting more out of the people and not getting them to be like what he wants, but getting them to be more of themselves. And you could see it when he's like more, more, more. And like he wants everybody to go to the moon, right? One, on the one, all the way up into the heavens, right? And you can hear even Michael Hampton up there just, you know, you know, <laughs> Doing those little motifs over and over and over again, changing them a little bit, giving Eddie that thing to burn on. There's just right, right, like whatever he was doing over that, E minor all day, right? But verb, Marshall stack, right? You know, letting it sear and just letting the rest of the band be a big ass. 
banned. That's what I'm talking about. That's the real shit right there. Um, I'm just going to leave it there. But I did not expect... I mean, that might be the hottest dentist performance that I can think of. Drop. Let me know in the comments if you got a hotter one than that. Because that was straight nasty. That double bass at the end when he's doing like a... <laughs> like a uh, I don't even know what you call that. But then over on the little Rototom things, uh, that was just absolutely bitching. Okay, there you have it. Ladies and gentlemen, Tyler Adams, thank you for being a member on GuitarGate. Thanks for throwing this in my face today. I needed it. I wouldn't say that relaxed my soul. I think it got me amped up. But that's it, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to be like Tyler, if you want to join GuitarGate, you want to learn the neck, learn the theory behind it, how to use it in any genre, click the first link in the description. And again, obviously, as a thank you for being one of my students, you get to pick what comes next on YouTube. Thanks for making the world go round. I love y'all. And if you learn nothing else, no t other takeaway from this, keep the damn guitar in your hand. Keep it out of the case, out of the closet. Leave it out. Every time you walk by it, pick it up. Five minutes, ten times a day is better than 50 minutes a day, all day. Cheers.